The Amazon Ferry has just brought forth one of these. Huge great thing. Loads of packaging. And it is uh, one of these, which is a sensor mat. There we go, to go under the bed. And it has this lead and four-way RJ11 American style telephone jack. I also have some of these, which are USB-A to red and black power, 5 volt. And just for good measure, I've got a USB-C version as well. And the idea is those will power one of these, which is a Shelly DCI4, which will run off 5 volts. And the plan is to have that somehow connect to this to report when you get in and out of bed. And that's the idea. I have no idea if this will work, so first thing I'm going to do is cut <coughs> off these so that I can do some testing with a multimeter. Work out how the bloody thing works. I'm assuming it's not powered. I'm assuming it's passive. Now this may be a big assumption. If it turns out it isn't passive, then I will probably need to buy the other half of this kit, which is something which this plugs into or does some sort of alarm. Now fortunately I've got a spare RJ11 so I can plug in if I need. Okay, the good news is it appears to be a completely passive device. Uh, the first two wires appear to be connected together, the second two wires together, so it's just two wires in effect and it's open circuit. And if I sit on the bed, <coughs> it changes down to, in this case, 1.7 ohms. I suspect the resistance relates to the pressure in some way, but I do need to make sure it triggers when I'm lying on it, and I think the slats on the bed underneath and the thick mattress might be an issue, so it needs a little bit of playing with, but it's a good start. Looks like it is actually working. Next trick is to make this do something with some electronics. So the next question is, um, can I use it with the i4? So I've got my i4 here, and it's plugged into a USB lead. So you've got USB lead on, plus and minus, well it says T, but that's Earth. I've then got the uh, two leads at the end in that, two leads at the end in that. I know it's not very tidy, I will, I'll put some bootlace fells on later. And uh, if I, the way that if I step on the mat, which is uh, on the floor here, if I step on the mat and step off, then what we find is, as expected, we see step on the mat, step off the mat, step on the mat. Step off the mat. I'm actually using Tasmota here, not Shelly, but Shelly would work in exactly the same way. It would see that as a switch. That's about as simple as it gets. So the end result here is all I've done is I've taken one of these, and they're available in big and small, and uh, I've got a Shelly DCI4. Um, in my case, I reprogrammed it with Tasmota, but the standard Shelly software should work exactly the same. I connected a USB power lead to power it, and I connected the two wires, well there's four, but the first two are one wire, the second two are one wire, the four wires into its grounded input, and that now gives me an input that says if I'm in bed or not. Incredibly easy to now program that to say, turn the lights on when I get out of bed, or whatever I want it to do. So that's the next step, should be really easy, but uh, you couldn't get really much easier than that, and I think it's a lot easier than buying uh, in fact, I think that works out cheaper than buying the proper kit to go with this, um, even with the lead. It's, uh, it's crazy. And of course, one of these could actually work four sensors if you wanted, because it's an i4. It's even easier.